Psalms 119 verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp to, to my foot and a light to my path. The message in the Bible and the knowledge and the wisdom contained in the Bible will illuminate your life. It's a lamp itself. So how do you undermine the Bible then? Well, you create a different light source. You create a different light. And so now when people read the Bible, right, the Bible is not illuminating itself. There's a different kind of light, a different lamp that is illuminating what the Bible says. And so the real meaning of the Bible just fades. So listen to what Neil deGrasse Tyson, how he explains this, and it tells you the truth. So what happened was, when science discovers things, and you want to stay religious, or you want to continue to believe that the Bible is, is unerring, what you would do is, you would say, well, let me go back to the Bible and reinterpret it. Then you'd say things like, oh, they didn't really mean that literally, they meant that figuratively. So this whole sort of reinterpretation of the fig how figurative the poetic passages of the Bible are came after science showed that this is not how things unfolded. And so the educated religious people are perfectly fine with that. So do you understand the educated people are fine with it? In other words, science is the actual lamp. So listen to what Neil says here, right? Revelation. You're one of the signs that you know, the second coming is that the stars will fall out of the sky and land on earth. So it's even right that means you don't know what those things are. You have no concept of what the actual universe is. So who, who said that the stars will fall to the earth? It was actually Jesus, right? He's saying that Jesus, doesn't, that Jesus doesn't know what the stars are. Yet the Bible says he was a master worker who, who Jehovah created the stars through his own son. And they were all complete. Not one of them was missing. I hope this makes you think. And cheers and thanks for watching.